Today you'll learn how to build an excellent applicant funnel. Ready? Let's get started. The applicant funnel is one of those ideas borrowed from the marketing world. In marketing, they use something called the buyer journey to track incoming clients from the very first point of contact all the way through the happy customer. Let's now look at the funnel mode in terms of what's called the candidate journey. First, there's the awareness. This represents the first stage of the funnel. At this stage, the candidate is in one of two situations. They are either ready to apply and will go straight into your pipeline as an active applicant, or they may be passive job seekers who will stay in this stage for several months. How you handle the two will obviously differ. However, this is your first touch point. I'll talk more about touch points in a bit. Awareness is followed by consideration. Perhaps the most pivotal step in the candidate journey, this is where the potential candidate decides to become an active applicant. They've done their research, they like what they see in your content relating to your employer brand and employee value proposition, and they're ready to come on board. The third and last phase of the funnel is that of the decision. This is the final and most stressful stage for the candidate. Don't drop the ball here by keeping them out of the loop. Constant updates, check-in emails will show your engagement and remind the new applicant of why they love your employer brand and company culture in the first place. Let's now talk about how you should put your applicant funnel into action. The name of the game here is respect. Candidate experience matters a lot. So you need to demonstrate that you respect your applicant's time, energy and abilities. This way, you'll not only increase your value in their eyes, but you'll also see returns in higher quality of applicants, dedication of employees and ROI on your hiring process as a whole. How do you demonstrate this respect? With touch points all the way through the process. First, there's awareness. The respect starts while your applicant is still a passive job seeker. In this stage, you need to be aware of your presence on social media, interact with your followers, respond to blog comments, and generally be alert and aware of these folks. Make sure your content is on point, describing your employer brand in detail without getting bombastic or hypey. This content will draw your potential applicants in, leaving comments, reposting, liking, and sharing it with their friends. How you respond to these interactions is your first touch point. Be respectful, thanking them for the shares, replying to the comments, and answering the questions. Remember to be authentic. Don't just say, thanks for the comment, and leave it at that. Call out something constructive they said, or turn it around and ask them a question. Do this in a conversational tone and your audience is likely to respond in kind. This is also an opportunity to show people where your strengths lie, and even some possible weaknesses where they can be of assistance if they come to work for you. Consideration. As I mentioned before, this is perhaps the most important stage in the applicant funnel. At this point, your applicant has decided they like what you have to offer and is looking at openings reading your company LinkedIn reviews and pulling the trigger on applying. The key here is to stay in touch. These touch points ensure that these folks know what's going on behind the scenes. As candidates, they deserve to know where their application stands. If there are delays, tell them what's up. Set and manage expectations early. This way, the applicant will know what to expect. It also gives you the opportunity to notify them of any changes in those expectations should a problem arise, letting them know that you respect their time. Decision. There's nothing worse in the application process than thinking an interview went well, only not to hear a single peep from the company for ever. This continues the touch points from the middle of the funnel and lets applicants know that they still matter and that you respect the stress this process puts on them. The touch points are nearly duplicates of the last ones. If there are delays in a decision being made, tell them. If it's going to take an extra few days because someone is out of town, let them know that. If someone else wants to meet them, fill them in ASAP so they can get it in their calendar. Treat your applicants like the priority they are, and they'll get a good feeling for how you'll treat them once they're hired. That's it for today's bite, in which you've learned that the funnel model is a great way to map your candidate journey from the first contact via your content marketing efforts all the way through happy new hire. The key is to respect your candidate's time, energy, and abilities by staying in touch throughout the process. Subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our Learning Bytes. And if you liked our video, make sure you like and share it. And I'll see you soon in our next Learning Bytes.